obvious mm -hmm. that look, we have failed. And no one else than the president. And it, it's, it, look, not only did the president rush in getting a false resignation, but also in, 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 in a false acceptance. That rush in giving a false acceptance, in telling us that, as she has said in her letter of resignation, that her integrity will be restored. Really? Thief man, thief, thief man. Then you say that integrity. Which integrity? Where is the, the, the shame that has been brought not only to her family, but to the state of Ghana should be worrying to all of us. You saw the Malawian uh, uh, president? After the COVID. After the COVID. You saw how angry the Malawian president was? Sacking. And, uh... Sacking the minister and also recommending prosecutions immediately. You, yesterday was the 11th anniversary of Atamilsi's passing. You saw when Atamilsi smelled of corruptions at the, corruption at the port. You have that, you saw the revulsion, the anger in the president. Not that people's homes were found with such money. You saw your mama's reaction when somebody was dreaming that if she is able to get $1 million, she will not do politics again. So you are saying he sh he sh she should have been sacked. You saw the reaction of your mama. That was even to dream. Oh. To dare dream that in case I ever make $1 million. This one was not just $1 million. With so much that was taken. This is money that was stolen. How much was left? We are doing as if that is the amount of money that was. No, that is money that was stolen. The money on her bed that was stolen. We don't know those under the bed and those in the wardrobes and safes. So everyone should be terrified. And I was surprised that the bank, governor of the Bank of Ghana would say that, no, this is a matter before court. You don't know the full ramification of what $1 million can do to the liquidity and exchange rate of this country. $1 million per constituency is now found $1 million on bed. You don't understand. So I, I, I feel a bit... A bit, a bit sad that our response to daylight TV is to say that, no, people's integrity will be restored. See, the special prosecutor probably is a year too late in this matter. I say a year too late because this matter was reported to the Ghana Police Service, right? Mm. And when it was reported to the Ghana Police Service, they had to prepare and go to court. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You want to say that the police service was not fully informed? And so if you have such amount of money that was taken, first point, the police should have started investigation and taking control of the house. And also to check how many houses she has. Because where you actually domicile may not be the only house you, you have. So they should take control of all the houses she has. 